dance teacher Takia Springer says the SS crews aren't the first teams from this country to qualify for a spot in the competition. A, a crew named Eclectic, they entered a couple of years ago and they actually won. They came first and I think they came third as well in the competition. I think when they won gold medals for Trinidad and Tobago, it was a really good time for us. And um, our, there was a team, TNT. Uh, we entered a couple of times, first mega crew to come out of Trinidad. We had an adult crew by the name of the Stable Gift as well. And uh, we had varsity crew, blackouts. And we had a good bit of crews at the competition itself. She believes the crews have what it takes to take home the title. This group is really um, a special group, a special team, and they, they're bond together. It had grown so much because they started training in March. They were always answered together, but we started this particular training in March. And from March to now, their bond, I must say, it's really grew, and I am very proud of them. So I know that they will take up the challenge well, and they would execute and perform. She shares her motivation for grooming the young dancers. I um, dance, like what do you say, like, I want to be a, a full-time dancer or performer, entertainer. People will be like, oh, I don't think you could make money doing that as a dance teacher. So I, um, I always was determined on fulfilling my dream and I am living my dream right now through them. So I would always have uh, like teaching them, they see in my life, they'll be like, best we never told that dancers could do so much. Miss Springer says she's elated to see hip hop dancing reaching a new level in Trinidad and Tobago. It has been growing, um, like, I'd say like in, ten, in the past 10 years, it, it grew, it grew a lot. Because the hip hop community is very large. So like when they enter the um, championships, local competition, uh, when the parents come out and they saw like how much dancers it have in Trinidad doing hip hop and they was like we didn't even know it had events like this and I have a lot of events like that in Trinidad and Tobago so um, it is I am proud of what hip hop has come to in Trinidad and it's growing as well and they say hip hop well people normally say hip hop is like the dance of the future so we hope that it continues growing and it continues doing really well. SS junior crew member Jazino Springer is grateful for the opportunity. I feel proud to know that I get the experience to go away and represent my country. According to Mikel Seals, a member of the SS Varsity crew, it was no easy feat getting this far. There's a lot of sacrifices that has to be made and things have to be put in place in order for us to be successful. Um, being a part of this group, we have created bonds, get to know each other better. It's just a wonderful experience. Although they have qualified, the two crews are in need of urgent funding. It's a one in a lifetime opportunity and I know that people out there will want to have the opportunity we have. So if they support us, it will be a lot and encourage youths out there that never give up. You all could be, make our own group and have support from the public as well. The crews will be traveling to Arizona in August for the competition which runs from the 15th to the 17th. A total of 20 dancers will be representing this country. Anyone willing to assist the team can contact Tikin Springer at 298-1334. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, C News.